well, and unaware, this is one of the computers that I built. This baby is beautiful in every single way. Okay, so on the right, you have the stock servo arm, right? Servo, saver, arm, directional arm, whatever you wanna call it. You have the stock one. And then this is the hot racing one. Shit. My, my idea. I was reading somewhere that because there's a space left between the motor and the chassis that on sometimes on hard landings, that the motor will actually slap the frame. And that's not good. I mean, it'll bend all kinds of crap up. So I was wondering if I could, could stick this heat sink on the bottom and would it actually hold the frame or actually hold the motor up from the frame? I don't know. I would uh, Since I got the motor mount and everything pulled out, I can't exactly find out, you know? because it doesn't exactly line up. So, I'm not exactly sure where I'm keeping some of the other spare parts like the braces and, you know, the center shafts and stuff. That way, God, these are some old tires here. These are some real old tires. I, these were a part of my original kit. These are part of the original. This is probably all I got left. Um, that and the grasshopper frame. This over here, this is what we will be rebuilding at some point. Once we're done with the crate and we're going to focus on that, on the grasshopper, that's my original grasshopper from like 15 years ago. And uh, yeah, but this is where I'm keeping some spare parts at. So I'm trying to charge the batteries. Now, according to the manual, if you get the smart batteries, which is what we got, all you have to do is plug them in, and then after five seconds, the charger will start charging them. So that's what we got going on over here. But over here, it's a completely different story. It's, it's acting like it's not a smart battery. So when I do a manual charge, it starts tripping out acting like you know like I'm trying to charge something else so I don't know if it's the battery or the battery charger that's not right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this to complete and then plug the battery into this one and then kind of trial and error find out what's find out what's doing what also check this out look I put the shot socks on both of these what do you think i like them i think they look good and i think they're going to do a good job keeping the shocks clean so some things came in the mail today i thought i would go over that with you guys i figured you guys would want to see what we got in the mail today so the first thing is i almost cut but check these out these are our sock shocks or shock socks they go over the shock. So I don't know if they're all the same size. The shock is a 1923 movie directed by Lambert Hellier. What? Anyway, uh, I got like a blue skull kind of look to them. Just a little piece of paper. Look, you can see where I, when I cut the bag open, see what I'm saying? I almost cut them off. Oh, that's it. All right, moving on to the next piece. Check these out. Look at these. 
these are aluminum arms for our grasshopper. I've been buying um, upgraded parts for the grasshopper because once we get this Creighton completed and built, uh, we're going to move on to the next project, which will be the grasshopper. So I went ahead and started buying the aluminum parts and stuff that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the shelf. All right, last but not least. Oh, cool. It's the shocks for the grasshopper. Those are pretty cool. I like them. Um, although after I bought them, I found out that they had them in blue. So I was just like, crap, of course they would have them in blue. Yeah, those are cool, man. Real little. Big difference between like a 10th scale shock and an 8th scale shock, you know? But this really, this isn't like a full 10th scale shock. This is like a special shock that they make for the vehicle. But yeah, cool. I like it. Oh, look, it comes with a little eclipse at the top. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it is good to see you guys again. So, I went to remove... Look at that. See that screw? That looks familiar, right? Nice big hole cut down through the side of it. Look how much, like, see how wide it is? Dude, when Arma manufactured this... Whoop, I just dropped something. And they put on that motor mount dude they went crazy see all that white powder that's loctite dude they went crazy with the loctite i couldn't get it off i stripped them out so i heated them and tried to pull them out and i still couldn't get them so i had no choice but to cut them and unfortunately i had to cut into the frame the chassis a little bit you see that but that's okay because i plan on covering this in um a graphite style like chic the entire rear shock tower okay it is only held on to the car by two that's it two two bolts go right through here and that's what holds the shock tower to the car and then this thing runs through there and then these two bottom bolts is what goes through the shock tower so this and this all run together to tie in and that's what holds it into place so i'm like are you serious they use two bolts to hold the rear wing and the shock tower assembly all together oh man that that's a crazy weak spot right there no wonder why the shock towers and all this kind of stuff been. So anyway, this part I found in all aluminum. And I went ahead and ordered it. It was 56 bucks. So that will be here. Uh, it hasn't shipped yet. So it hasn't given me an estimated time of arrival. But it just blows my mind that, that that's what holds that whole thing together. For you guys that are new to my channel and unaware this is one of the computers that I built this baby is beautiful in every single way I love it look at the RAM the fans on it are gorgeous the CPU cooler is gorgeous the RX Radeon oh man it's beautiful the LED light strip we got down there. Oh yeah, there's actually a video of me building this um, not too long ago, maybe a month or so ago. But yeah, it's what I use for my current editing rig and stuff. And then if you come over here, this is my gaming rig. This is the Titan rig that I built. And this used to be water cooled, but then we we completely changed it out and stuff so it's a 10th gen intel it's a bad little computer um i think it's about three thousand dollars for it it's what i got into it in components and stuff but yeah i thought you guys would like to see those for those who have never seen my computers before 